Hello, students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary. My name is Mr. Hopefloor. You know me as Mr. H. Today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2017, and this is Good Morning, Mammoth Heights. All right, let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, let's look at what we have on our lunch menu for today. On this Tuesday, you get to choose between macaroni and cheese and the Southwest Turkey Wrap. Your lunch choices for tomorrow will be cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, and the ham and cheese croissant sandwich. As we move on to our tools for citizenship and life, today we're going to look at the word called truthfulness. Truthfulness. So what does it mean to be a truthful student here at Mammoth Heights Elementary? Well, students who are truthful are able to explain their own behavior, whether good or bad. Students who are truthful turn in found money and other found belongings so that the true owner can be found. And truthful students here at Mammoth Heights Elementary will tell the student that they forgot or I did instead of making up a story. So I hope you practice your truthfulness today, throughout the school year, and of course throughout the rest of your life. As we move on to our birthday announcements today, happy birthday on this Tuesday to Colton Osweiler. Happy birthday, Colton. You can come on down to the office get a happy birthday pencil at this time. Make sure you have your teacher's permission, of course. Our other announcements are the BookFit Bowl, the Readathon kicks off today during our assemblies, and I'm really excited about this because we're going to have a Readathon focused on reading and character education all at the same time. All the money raised are going to go right back to you, so you can buy books from our book fair that's coming up here in the middle of next month. And I have another announcement. You may have noticed that there's lots of poetry being pub published around our building on windows, on doors, and I know I have a lot of poetry that's been written outside my office windows, and it's amazing what our sixth graders are doing. First of all, they're learning about poetry, they're learning about how different attributes of a poem work, and they're also learning about publishing and how you can publish in a variety of different ways, whether that is writing on a window, whether you are writing it into a book. And one way to publish a poem is to have it read on the air on Good Morning Mammoth Heights by Mr. H. So at this time, I'd like to share one poem from sixth grader Brenna All. Her title to this poem is called, We Go to Sleep to Be Awake. I hope you enjoy this poem. Please listen carefully. We go to sleep to be awake. If you face the sunlight and never look back, you shall never see what lurks in the shadows. That is why we are awake in the day. And the sun is our protector. That is why we are asleep during the night. The moon is their leader. But there are tiny little balls of light they are the stars. Some people ask, why are there so many? It is because they are the sun's army, and just like the sun has an army at night, the moon has your shadows in day. Thank you, Brenna, for publishing your poem on our airwaves of Good Morning Mammoth Heights. You did a fabulous job, and I was very excited to share that with the whole Mammoth Heights community. And uh, those of you who are publishing poems, uh, keep up the great work. And those of you who are noticing, take time to read those amazing poems that our sixth graders have placed around our campus. All right, let's do a ticket drawing. Let's do two ticket drawings this morning. Here we go. We have second grader in Mr. Ruby's class. Congratulations to 
Haley Oliveras. Haley, come on down. I'm giving away those jump passes from Sky Zone again. And one more. Let's see here. Okay. First grader in Miss Sterling's class. Congratulations. Zelda. Zelda and Haley, come on down to the office and get your 60 minute jump pass from Sky Zone. You were caught doing good and you were caught practicing one of our 23 lifelong skills and guidelines. Many of you, as you notice, have. And I'll be honest with you, it won't be long and I'm going to be emptying out this bucket and we're going to be starting all over again. So your, your odds of being able to win will get a little better once I empty out this bucket and we start over. Well, we're really glad to have you back after this long President's Day weekend. Let's get back to work this Tuesday and enjoy our, the beginning of our Book Fit Bowl Readathon. That concludes our show for today. I hope you all continue to be a positive ambassador for Mammoth Heights Elementary. Exhibit energy in all your work and demonstrate perseverance in your learning each and every day. Don't forget, dream, strive, become, because that's the Mammoth way. Have a great Tuesday. Glad to be back. Bye.